This isn't just another 30 minute commercial. This is the people behind the products, the innovators, the engineers, the entrepreneurs. Your ability to smell is gone. Wow. This isn't just another hunting show. This is Deer Tech TV. Welcome to Deer Tech TV, everybody. I'm Dave Gillane. This week, Brad Rux is going to be talking to you about some of his favorite knives from Outdoor Edge. And later, he'll be interviewing Ed Gramza of Basemap to go over some of the best features of the popular hunting app. And to top it all off, we've got Art Helen from Art Helen Outdoors going after a hitless buck that he likes to call Forks. You know, as a hunter, one thing you always want with you is a good knife. And even if you're not a hunter, guys, I mean, I use the Outdoor Edge razor blade all the time. This thing is the bomb. Why I like it is it's got the rubber grip, it's got a great grip to it, it's the perfect size for a total utility knife. I use it at home all the time, I use it in the field, I use it to field dress white tails, you name it, I use it for that process. What I like about it is it's the interchangeable blade, so I can use it, I can use it on the worst conditions possible, and then when I'm done, just grab the blade, pop it out, throw the blade away, put it in a new one, I got a brand new knife. So the beauty of that is, you always have a sharp knife. Just think about how many times you've been boning out a whitetail and, and you hit enough bones and your, white, your blade goes dull. You can sharpen it a little bit, but that edge just seems to roll over. Now, I put a brand new blade in and I can go just like I have a brand new knife and get through an entire deer. But if you process a lot of whitetails, you gotta check the Outdoor Edge processing kit. Let's check it out. So I already said that if you're one size fits all, Razor Blaze is a great product. I mean, if you have one deer to do, you can easily bone it out, field dress, it'll do everything you want. But that said, if you shoot multiple deer, you gotta check out this boy, bad boy. This is the Outdoor Edge Processing Kit. It's got everything you can imagine from knives. You got the Skinner, you got this one I use for caping. This is the Skinner. You got a boning out knife. You got the big butcher knife. It even comes with a little cutting board. The beauty of it, it's got literally everything. Here you got a saw. If you want to cut any of the bones, it's got a scissors. What I do is, so you're in deer camp, I bring this thing along. If I shoot a big buck, I'm gonna cape the thing out. So I use a little uh, caper. It is extremely sharp and it's got a real good pointed edge so you can go around those burrs of the antlers. And, and believe it or not, I've already used it for skinning as well. But then you can just upgrade to your next one when you're skinning the animal. And, and here you got, you're able to hook it with a hook, pull it down, skin around anything that you want to do. It's a great knife. It, it stands up. It's good when it's cold. The next one is the boning knife. It's got the thinner blade on it. And with a thin blade, it allows you to go through around ribs. It's, it, it's perfect knife. I actually use this to flay fish as with as well at home. The one that you wouldn't think you would use as much as you do is this bad boy. It's called the butcher. And yeah, you can use it for cutting your loins. I have a tendency, unfortunately for me, is to leave the deer hang out in winter a little bit too long and they freeze. When you're dealing with a frozen piece of meat <laughs> all together, you're gonna need a, a knife that's a magnum and this thing will do the trick. It is the perfect kit for me. I probably use it 10 times a year. Check it out from Outdoor Edge. OK, 
okay? So if you're trying to pick a stand, uh, one thing that we have that we're pretty excited about in the app is this wind cone. Um, it's going to show you wind direction because some people are more visual. They can't sit in the stand, okay, the wind's coming out of north. Well, what the heck way is north? You're watching Gear Tech TV. We're here with Ed from Basemap. Ed, nice meeting you. you bet. Tell us a little bit about the features of Basemap. Oh man, there's so many features that are packed into this app. You know, some that our competitors don't have and some we just feel like we do better. Uh, we've got a pretty robust like weather app you know, that's gonna show you uh, high and low temperature, uh, wind speed, wind direction, um, current conditions. It's gonna show you wind, wind in the future, okay? So if you're trying to pick a stand, uh, one thing that we have that we're pretty excited about in the app is this wind cone. Um, it's gonna show you wind direction because some people are more visual they can't sit in the stand okay the wind's coming out of north well what the heck way is north so now it's going to show you a visual on the, on the screen of what the wind is going to be doing now and in the future so you can pick a better stand or if you know you got to move later on okay i'm going to move at one o'clock get things settled and move yeah. to another stand um what another cool feature that we have is what we call smart markers so anytime you drop a waypoint it collects all of this information and catalogs it on that waypoint. Barometric pressure, sunrise, sunset, wind direction, wind speed, temperature. So if you're scouting and seeing a deer and trying to pattern movement, you're going to have all that weather and, and you know, atmospheric information you know, from a historic standpoint. That's huge for us whitetail guys. I mean, the weather, especially the barometric pressure, the uh, temperature, you know, and, and sunrise, sunset, all that stuff is so crucial as a whitetail guy. And it's kind of funny you mentioned the uh, challenged individuals. I think my kids are challenged. They'll be like, Dad, where should I go sit? I'm like, well, which way is the wind? And it's uh, north, you know, and I'll tell them which way it is. And they're like, well, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Right. So, so, I mean, it'd be perfect for anybody like that because now they can call up the stand where they wanted to go. If they know where the deer are supposed to be coming from and where they're supposed to be going, now you can check to see if it's the perfect right. condition. I mean, obviously with whitetail, I mean, wind is key. Yeah. You know, you got to be in the right spot at the right time. So, you know, those are some of the features that we have within the app that are going to help, you know, help you hopefully tag more deer. What I love about the wind feature is so many times you start off in the morning and the wind is absolutely perfect for that tree stand, but then it changes now. If I can predict when it changes, I can either go to a different stand where the wind isn't quite as harsh with that second condition, or I can pick my second stand so I can get out of that first stand and head over to the second one. Right, exactly. One other feature we really need to hit on is the ability to download maps for when you're in an area that does not have cell service. You know, so if you know that you're going somewhere, northern Wisconsin, wherever, that doesn't have cell service, you can actually save those areas of the map onto your phone. Right. Um, we allow you to download like 300 mile wide areas, <laughs> really low resolution, or you can really drill it down to a smaller area and have super high resolution. Uh, with that, you only get two different, you can do it two different ways. You can have satellite view, or you can have a topple view, okay? You know, the 3D goes away, you don't have any of that. But whatever active layers you have on, so if you have on the private land information, um, the, the boundaries for deer units, whatever active layers you have on, that gets included oh, nice. into that map, okay? And you can, you can save as many maps on your phone as you want based on how much, or how much space you have left on your phone. So when you go out in the field and you don't have cell service, you just go in and click go offline and now anything you saved on your phone is, gonna there. Be, is there. Which is huge. You, need, you always think about no cell service out west, but I hunt Illinois, Iowa a lot. And man, there are spots there that you do not have cell service. So this is a perfect function for that. Now, I, you know, doing all my right. homework back home, I got that map saved, know exactly what's going on. Because what it does is it turns off the cell signal to the app, but it leaves a GPS on. Okay, so if you're out there, you can still mark waypoints, mark trails. As soon as you connect to service, Boom. it uploads it to the cloud and it's on your mobile and your, and your web. Nice, great feature. Yep. I'll check on these scrapes, open these up and see what's going on and give me that opportunity. So I'm gonna let things kind of settle down here now and uh, hopefully uh, one of these big boys will show himself this morning. You're watching Gear Tech TV. 
All right, it's that time of year again where we abandon our families, and frankly, we don't care if they're understanding or not. It's fall, it's Wisconsin, and it's pre-rut. Here's Art Helen from Art Helen Outdoors with his encounter of a buck named Forks. Things are really starting to heat up here in southwest Wisconsin. A couple nights ago I passed a buck I called Goofy. Great looking deer, but he's only got one side. The other side's all kind of messed up. He's been like that for years. But uh, I believe he's only a three year old. Last night I passed a really good 10 point. I know he's only three. So I moved in, I pulled a card, a camera down here, and uh, I've got three of my five good mature deer using this ridge. Got a huge scrape line all the way through here. It's a big one right here. There's two down the road, two more up here, one on the ridge. Once they're coming through, I've had deer in and out of here all day long. So hopefully one of these big mature deer is going to come through here this morning and uh, you know check on these scrapes, open these up and see what's going on and give me that opportunity. So. I'm gonna let things kind of settle down here now and um, hopefully uh, one of these big boys will show himself this morning. focus I uh, trying to self film this morning and uh, what's a buck we call forks I've been trying to kill him he's a good 
five and a half year old buck we've got in here and I knew this was his area. And, uh, so I just thought I'd uh, get it look like a pretty good shot. I'm gonna give him about 20 minutes to a half hour and then I'm gonna get down and go take a look for this deer. So yes. Hi, I'm Brad Rooks from Deer Tech TV. It's been an interesting year between the pandemic with COVID-19 and our theory on this show, or our theme was literally going to be going to these manufacturers, which you guys don't know. We know a lot of these people personally. They're deer hunters producing a great product because they want to make you guys better hunters. And we want to get behind the scenes. We didn't want to make it look like it was a TV commercial for 30 seconds. We wanted to get behind the scenes, show you how it's made, tell you a little bit of the inside scoop. But with COVID-19, we haven't had the ability to travel. So the community kind of came together. We're shooting some of our, our stuff here with prototypes. We're, we're using product that we're not as familiar because it just came out. But we're doing the best we can. We're excited to show you what 2021 is going to be because hopefully we can travel again and we're going to get behind the scenes and show you guys the footage that was meant to be. I hope you enjoy the show. You're watching Gear Tech TV. So, this morning I got up here, sit this stand. I've had this buck that I call Forks on camera quite a bit. He's coming out of some TSI work I did, and I've got TSI here, so he's been checking this triangle looking for does as the rut's getting close. And it paid off this morning. He came in, gave me the shot. I've got a lot of blood, so I kind of backed out, and I called my neighbor, John. And he came over here to help me, so he's behind the camera. We're gonna take up this blood trail, and hopefully he's not too far away. And uh, you know, I heard him kind of run up here and crash, so we're gonna go check for him. And uh, like I said, hopefully there's a happy ending to this today. <laughs> Right there, buddy. Ooh. Yeah. Like I said he's um he's an old deer, sure deer. He's not super wide, but he's got a ton of mass to him. I mean, he's just. Like I said, pretty, pretty deer. He was one of our hitless bucks this year, and uh, it all worked out this morning. So now uh, hopefully we can get Michelle on one tonight. And we'll see. I know I got to try to get this deer out of here, and I got to be at the doctor by 10 o'clock. So now it's... Uh, I said Michelle's turn and hopefully John's turn also. So we'll, uh, we're going to get this deer out of here, get some photos, and on to the next one. So awesome, John. Michelle's turn it is. But that, you're going to have to wait until next week. See you then.